of very kind, uh, various kinds. In the first week of September 1923, Bishop Alvarez Mar Julius was suffering from dysentery, which left him very feeble and weak. It is known that an aged poor lady took care of him, but his condition gradually worsened. Bishop Alvarez needed medical attention immediately and he was finally taken to the charitable hospital at Ribandar by his friends. Tirveni Ribandar Hospital is the first time. Tirveni Vindam Catholic Savail 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 is the first time. Tirveni Vindam Catholic on 23rd September 1923, Bishop Alvarez Mar Julius took his last breath in the general ward of the charitable hospital at Ribandar Goa. Aware of his popularity amongst the poor and the elite, his friends anticipated a huge turnout. They kept Bishop's body in the municipal hall at Panjim for the people to pay their last respects. His close friends and well-wishers were astonished at the response from the public. In the history of Goa, up to that point, this was the largest attended funeral that had ever taken place. It took nine turns by people from nine different social classes to carry the coffin from the municipal hall to the cemetery. It's a known fact that detractors as well as well-wishers both were a part of the final adieu to the son of the soil. To the end, even his last wishes of being buried as per the final rites of the Orthodox Church remained unfulfilled. Instead, Bishop Alvarez was buried in an isolated part reserved for the outcast in the Santanese Cemetery where he lay forgotten for years. A new era had dawned. The Portuguese colony of Goa in 1955, Prime Minister Nero said, we rule out non-peaceful methods entirely. In 1961, 30,000 Indian troops pour over the border into the enclave to conquer it within 48 hours. Goa, along with the adjacent enclaves of Damao and Diu, Now for an astonishing turn of events which would ultimately help restore Bishop Alvarez Mar Julius's works of life. As Basilius Martha Matthew's first visited Brahmoa churches. And after the visit in Brahmoa church, the Tirmani came to Goa. And on a Sunday, and we have celebrated the Holy Tirmani has celebrated the Holy Kumara there in Sandinese church. Uh, and I consider that getting that permission in Sandinese church was a divine guidance there. Because usually the other denomination uh, people were given the permission to conduct their services at a medical college chapel or post office chapel, somewhere like that. And this was, at that time it was the outer skirt of the city, even though that was the place we got. And our people, for people it was inconvenient, but still we have taken it and we have gone there. 
and after the service, uh, there many parent casualties to the to the vigor of that Catholic parish uh, in the past in the Sunday Church past age. And in the casual conversation between Tirumeni and the, the Vika, Tirumeni mentioned about Alvaris Tirumeni. And Tirumeni said, we had a metropolitan from Goa, his name was Alvaris Mar Julius. But uh, we did not know what happened to him later. Uh, then this Vika of the parish led Tirumeni to the adjacent cemetery where the, the corner of the cemetery that was set apart for that time for the uh, people who were excommunicated from church, there the, the cholera which was situated in that corner was shown to Tirimeni. And thus, uh, we came to know that Alvaris Tirimeni is buried there in that cemetery. The news spread amongst the faithful and the community had now the opportunity to pay tribute to the much-loved Bishop Alvarez Mar Julius. They decided to build a church and enshrine his holy relics in that church. Municipal Mayor Ayana Francis Alleluia Menaces Adaya Manu and Pratayama initiated your town. A council in the Dirimana Pragara, a relaxed Martin and Rola, or I was in the Tano. Upon another day, Padrasa Matapolita, nineteen seventy nine, Chargerata, Tavros, when he had the man to go by visiting him. But she was the man, Kalpanel, Lagano, other Kitan and Dano, Karian Padilla Tonda, on the Milangil Manangil, Adulla, I come to Korea. I went to the church and I was in the church. I went to the church and I was in the church. I went to the church and I was in the church. I went to the church and I was in the church. I went to the church and I was in the church. I went to the church and I was in the church. I went to the church and I was in the church. I went to the church and I was in the church. I went to the church and I was in the church. By 1892, the relics were respectfully moved to their final resting place at the St. Mary's Orthodox Syrian Church in Ribanda. The faithful had a sacred place where they could pay homage to their beloved saint, Bishop Alvarez Mar Julius. Restored to his true glory, and in celebration of his saintly life, Bishop's mortal remains lie at this church till date. Bishop Alvarez Mar Julius will never be forgotten and will always remain a saint. <laughs> അതിനെ ശുദ്ധിയെ <laughs> Every day, morning and evening, when I say prayer, what do you call thanksgiving, at that time one of my prayers is, I pray to the, to the Lord, I say, 
Venerable Mahajur Rasuli Sopavu. So please intercede for me and my wife, seek pardon for our sin and grant us good luck. ജീവിതത്തിലെ ഏറ്റവും വലിയ അഭിലാഷമായിരുന്നു മലങ്കരയിൽ നിന്ന് ഒരു വൈദികനോ ഒരു മെത്രാനോ വന്ന് തന്നെ അവസാന കാലത്ത് തന്നെ ശുശ്രൂഷിക്കണമെന്നും അതിലുപരിയായിട്ട് അങ്ങനെ ഒരു സാഹചര്യം ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ മാത്രം എൻ്റെ ശവസംസ്കാരം നടത്തിയാൽ മതിയെന്ന് അദ്ദേഹം ആഗ്രഹിച്ചു ദൈവഹിതം എന്നോണം ഒരു വൈദികനോ ഒരു മേൽപ്പെട്ടക്കാരനോ ഇതുവരെ ലഭിച്ചിട്ടില്ലാത്ത ഒരു ശവസംസ്കാരം മറ്റൊന്നുമല്ല സാധാരണ ജനങ്ങൾ അദ്ദേഹത്തെ സംസ്കരിച്ചു മലങ്കരി അൽവാരിസ്മാർ യൂലിയോ സിനിമേനിയെ ജീവിക്കുന്ന പരിശുദ്ധനായി ഇന്ന് ജനം കാണുന്നു ആ പരിശുദ്ധന്റെ മധ്യസ്ഥയിൽ അഭയം പ്രാപിക്കും ഈ തലമുറയിൽ വരാനുള്ള തലമുറയിൽ ഈ യാഥാർത്ഥ്യം തിരിച്ചറിഞ്ഞു വിശുദ്ധിയോടുകൂടി അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ മധ്യസ്ഥയിൽ അഭയം പ്രാപിക്കുവാൻ ദൈവം സംഗതിയാകട്ടെ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് നിർത്തുന്നു നന്ദി 